Hi everybody! Thank you so much for watching my videos. Today I will talk about Manila, San Francisco to Seattle flight via United Airlines. I didn't expect that a lot of people would ask questions and you know it would get as much traction as it is currently getting so thank you so much for all of you who took their time to subscribe like and comment and you know i didn't want to leave you guys hanging anyway i didn't want to leave you guys hanging kasi ang daming mga questions din doon and i may have i may not have pictured you know the process and the workflow and you know my experience kasi the, the video was primarily for me to share with you kung ano yung naging experience ko sa united airlines especially since that was my first long haul flight ever it's like a really entirely new experience for me and i wanted to document it no so that i can look back to it you know in the future so anyway um there were a lot of questions nga doon and I wanted to answer everything all in one video. A lot of you ask where to claim the baggage, pumunta ng immigration, ano yung mga tinanong. This video will be dedicated to my experience from the Philippines in Naia Terminal 3 up to when I got to Seattle in the SeaTac airport. Okay, so stay tuned! Don't forget to... To my channel. Right, so my United Airlines flight was booked by my brother. Bought it through Expedia. My flight was 9:55 a.m. I was already there at 4:30 a.m. because knowing me, I have to be there very early. Because I don't want to panic. I don't want to stress. I don't want to hassle. Especially since you know, um, I don't want to fight and brave through the Manila traffic. So 9:55 a.m. It departs on Tuesday, November 21st, and then it would arrive in San Francisco at. 6 20 a.m november 21 so parang <laughs> i earned another day um and then after that it would depart at 9 17 a.m and then it will arrive at 11 38 a.m so it means that my layover from san francisco going to seattle is two hours and 57 minutes so in my baggage information my carry-on bag no fee uh, my first checked bag no fee up to 23 kilograms and my second checked bag no fee then up to 23 kilograms um, I had m with me my backpack, my trusty backpack. I have a belt bag for all of my essentials. Na gusto kong madali lang kunin when I'm in the flight, like my mga essential oils, yung mga charger ko, power bank, books ko, something to preoccupy me. And I have one big bag, all pasalubong, and then one um, big bag for all of my stuff, yung mga damit ko, yung mga documents ko, those kinds of things. There was one question about whether it's okay to bring food. I bring I brought food, so these are canned goods. So corn beef, may dala kong sampalok na candy, may dala kong pastillas. I have um, essential oils because of course you need that. I need that. Um, but I also bought like multivitamins. So the first thing that happened was I went to the first desk. Uh, when you so when you get inside terminal three. You go to the desk. The guard will assist you. Kung tatanong ka sa kanila, okay, where do I present my passport? Where do I present my boarding pass? Where do I present my e-travel? Those kinds of things. They will assist you. So I went to the I went to the desk, and then I presented them my e-travel. You, yung e-travel, it contains pertinent information about you, your name your destination, your passport number, and then you can register parang 24 to 48 hours before your flight. So I did that online. And then I just showed them a QR code. After which I showed them my boarding pass and my passport. And I just paid the tax, which is, I forget, but I'm just gonna flash it over here kung magano yung binayaran ko. I'll just have to look at my files. I don't want to misinform anyone. So there. After that, check-in gate na ng United Airlines. So, as mentioned before, I like the process. It's very efficient. I think it took me about three minutes um, just depositing my bags. I asked them, number one, where do I get my bags? Is it in Seattle already or sa San Francisco? They didn't really give me a straightforward answer. They didn't want to guarantee me that I mean I need to get my luggage in San Francisco. Rather, they told me that most likely I would get my bags in San Francisco from the carousel and then I have to present it to customs. Okay, so I would like to clarify, the bags that I had were my backpack, I have my belt bag, I have my carry-on luggage, and I have two big luggages for my stuff. 
and for my pasalubo. When I got to the check-in desk, I deposited two of my packages. They actually offered to um, also check in my carry-on luggage because it's for free. But I didn't get their offer because my check my carry-on luggage contains in pertinent documents that I might need. And you know my winter clothes in case it's cold in San Francisco. Hindi naman pala. <laughs> so ayon. Um, so I deposited all of my checked-in luggage there, and then they gave me two boarding passes. My boarding pass for um, Manila to San Francisco, and my boarding pass from San Francisco to Seattle. After that, they I went na to immigration. So sa immigration, um, I already have my carry-on luggage na lang, my backpack and my belt bag. Kasi yung dalawang malalaki kong luggages, it's already checked in. I went to the immigration kiosk and I showed her my passport. And then she just asked me about my name, who my petitioner is, information that you probably already know in your head. Actually, the immigration officer was a nice lady. She talked about um, what my visa category was. I mean, that was for for ano lang naman. It was casual conversation. I I believe it's not really part of of like their standard operating procedure. I might be wrong, but she just asked me about it, and then she was like. Um, Ah, so single ka kasi, you know, F to B, dapat single, ganun. Sabi niya, okay lang, makakakita ka naman siguro doon. Sabi ko, no, 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 it's okay, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> I mean, you know, it was it was funny. It was a funny exchange. And she was nice and, you know, the interview was light. Kasi siguro naman, dahil immigration siya, it, they weren't really mahigpit about it. And yeah, after that immigration, parang, ano na, um, she just told me that I can go and proceed to my gate. When I proceeded to the gate, I drank a lot of water because they said that in order for you now to um, adjust well with jet lag, you have to be fully hydrated. Hindi ka masyadong kumain ng sweets. I guess they're right because it worked for me very well. So yun, <clears throat> before going to my gate, I went to the bathroom, I drank water, I bought water. May cash ako kasi, may Philippine peso ako. So pumunta ako sa currency exchange kiosk so that I can have it exchanged for dollars. Kasi when I get to San Francisco, I'm just scared that maybe I'll be hungry. <laughs> so dapat may dolyares ako para I can buy anything I need and I can buy food whenever I feel hungry. I can buy coffee whenever I feel like it. So yun, um, my Philippine peso, I exchanged it lahat sa dollars. And then I did all of these things before I went to the gate. So... Dun na, when I went inside the United Airlines gate, they had to scan everything. So I uh, I gave them my belt bag, I gave them my backpack and my carry-on luggage. And then it's kind of random. Sometimes they make you open your bag, sometimes no. I'm saying this because when I got to the gate, lumabas ulit ako kasi napadami yung inum ko ng tubig. So lumabas ulit ako so that I could pee. So you know, yung, co yung cons lang don is that if you have to go out, you have to go through the process of scanning all of the things that you have in you um, before you get inside the gate. So I made sure I'm like, you know, um, I'm gonna drink this water. This will be my last water for a while so that I don't have to go through all of those things. Kasi sobrang hassle na. You know, you'll have to take off your shoes. You'll have to take off your bag. And then I have three three bags with me. Technically, yung isa personal item kasi belt bag lang naman siya. But I made sure that, you know, it's connected with my backpack. Para nang bumuka siya na isa lang na bag. And then isang carry-on luggage. Kasi may isa nun, the first time I went inside the gate, when I was about to scan my stuff, she told me that, like, you know, I have to collate. I have to make sure that my my belt bag, all the items inside my belt bag was inside my bag. I couldn't do that kasi wala, hitik na hitik na talaga ang aking bag. So, kinlip ko lang yung belt bag ko on my backpack. So, I mean, they, they were okay with that anyway. I just waited for my boarding and they, we, we, ano, yung boarding, it was on time. And, um, it just took, like, what, um, Siguro mga 15-20 minutes na lakad-lakad, pila-pila, papuntang aeroplano. Yeah. And um, the thing is, two days before my flight, I made sure that I paid a little extra so that I can be in Economy Plus. So I think that was a great decision on my part because when I was in Economy Plus, it means that pagbababa na ako ng aeroplano, I'm among the, the first ones 
to get to the San Francisco immigration kiosk, which means na hindi mo masadong madami yung pila. So yeah, I did that, and you know what? I did that online. I did that through my credit card. It was very straightforward. When I was in the airplane, medyo kabado ako. I was never comfortable. But, you know, I just prayed. I have my essential oils with me. And um, sabi ko naman, this is a new experience. I was just really trying to condition myself mentally that this is a new new thing. This is an adventure. And thank God naman na nakayanan ko naman siya. A lot of people were saying na, you know, it's really difficult when you're in a long-haul flight. Nakakapagod, ganito, ganyan. But honestly, tinanry ko lang talagang i-condition yung sarili ko mentally na, um, you know, na kakayanin ko to. So, I have my phone naman to preoccupy me. Um, may in-flight entertainment naman. You can watch movies. You can watch series. Um, and then, I have my Kindle with me. I can read. So, overall, okay naman. I mean, there are times na I, I sleep. I didn't really sleep a lot flight ko. Honestly, hindi ko pinilit yung sarili ko to sleep. I just close my eyes if I feel like medyo mahapdi na yung mata ko. And then once na parang hindi na talaga ako makatulog, na parang sabi ko, okay, nakakapagod na kasing pipilitin yung sarili ko na matulog, I just watch the movie. That's all. And then, um, before you know it, ginigising ka na lang for you to eat snacks, for you to eat your first meal, and then to eat second meal, hanggang landing na. So I'm really thankful sa Lord, no? For guiding me, and for making sure that the experience was bearable. Actually, hindi naman nga talagang biner ko or something, no? That the experience was pretty light for me. After landing, it wasn't long before we went outside the plane. We arrived on time, actually. No, not on time. Even earlier. I think 30 minutes to an hour earlier. So, um, that was great. Kasi I was kind of a little bit concerned na 2 hours and 57 minutes lang yung layover ko. I thought na kukulangin ako sa time, especially since I need to get my baggages from the carousel and then I have, I have to show it to custom. Again, I don't have any experience with me. I don't have long flight experiences. I don't have, I've never been outside the country. So I never know what to expect. You can just follow your fellow passengers. And then, you know, I'm, I'm really having a hard time remembering everything because at that time, sobrang pagod na pagod ka from your flight, right? So bear with me. When we went outside, I just followed my fellow passengers and then we saw a division of lines and then there were some people na king date for immigration and then there were so, there was this line dedicated only for those who are migrating na. So doon ako pumunta kasi may migrate ako, ba? <laughs> and then ayun na, when I went there, um, tatawagin ka lang din naman kasi nakapila ka, ba? Someone will call you and then when it's your turn to go to the booth, kung saan nandiyan na yung immigration officer. So I went there and then I presented my passport and then he was just looking at it and then checking my name, checking my face and um, I forget what other questions he asked for me but the one notable thing was he asked me whether I brought food with me and I told him I brought canned goods and then he told me okay and then he told me that I should um, go with one officer so that I could go to this place to this room wherein um, I should wait there because I don't know. Pero guys, sobrang kabado ako dito ah. Kasi parang sabi ko, oh my god, am I in trouble? I didn't know that there was something like this that would happen. Apparently, it's just pretty standard. So yun, um, somebody escorted me to this like um, room. And then, I didn't know what's gonna happen to me. So, I just... Ako palang mag-isa kasi sa room na yun, galing sa flight. May isa pang tao, pero hindi ko alam bakit siya dun. But we were inside the... I was inside the room. And then, syempre, hilo-hilo ka pa and all. So, naghihintay lang ako. Nasabi ko, ano bang gagawin nila dito? Anong gagawin ko dito? So, hindi pa ako nakaupo. Tuma tinawag na ako. Kasi ako lang nga mag-isa dun sa room. Hindi pa ako nakaupo. Tinawag na ako. Sabi, yun nga, sinabi na yung name ko. So, pumunta na ako dun. And then, the the officer just told me that um, I need to go with another officer kasi he's going to walk me towards the carousel. So, he gave me um, this um, plastic plaque looking thing with letters. I forget if it was letter A or something. But it has a letter that 
aims to categorize um, categorize you so that when you get to customs they know what to do with you or something I, I don't know please correct me when I'm wrong there is a comment section but anyway um he gave me this plaque looking thing with a number uh, sorry with a letter and then you and um and then I kept on asking the officer I was like hey um what am I gonna do next and he just said follow me so I'm like so I followed <laughs> and then yeah when we when I followed him you know sabin yeah um, identify your baggages from the carousel. So, which means I need to get my baggage from the carousel. So, medyo intay intay ako, ganon, ang bigat pa nun, pero sige lang, strong, independent women tayo. <laughs> so, yun, kinuha ko na yung dalawa. And then, nilagay ko lang siya sa parang cart, and then sabi na niya, oh, ipakita mo lang to, this plaque, to the customs, to the customs officer. I put it on the cart. I put my baggages on the cart, and then I walked na towards the customs officer. And then you and there was a, an officer there. I gave him my my this plaque thingy with the with the letter, and then he told me to just go to the customs officer right in front of him. So you and um, the customs officer didn't really open my my other baggage with my stuff like mga tal- mga ano ko yung mga damit ko personal items ko yung pina-open niya lang sa akin ay yung may laman na mga pasalubong so yun na yung mga canned goods those are the essential oils those are the multivitamins and stuff 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 and then when I did that he just he actually it was so nice he was Filipino so he told me oh so you're going to spend the year Christmas in in the states sabi ko yes po and then Tagalog din ako syempre so Ayun, um, sabi niya, mas masaya yung ano, yung ano sa Pinas, mas masaya yung Pasko. Tapos sabi ko naman, oo naman po, pero you know, um, it's time for me na to reunite with my family. Na showbiz na showbiz, di ba? So ayun, as pagkatapos na okay na, pinakuha na sa akin yung dalawang luggage. And then, dun lang, as in, dito yung, okay, ganito. Dito yung, <laughs> how do I say this? Okay, this, nand, nandito yung ano, nandito yung customs na parang carousel na kung saan isa-scan yung mga baggages mo. Tapos, nandun na yung connecting flight. So, yun. Lakad-lakad lang ako dun. Sabi niya, nandyan na, no, pasok ka lang dun. Pagpasok ko na, pagpasok ko, so may hallway yan. And then, right before you get to the main terminals, I guess, um, they're going to get your baggages. And then, they, syempre, you'll show them your boarding pass. And then, that's the time that they identify um, which carousel the baggages should go so it's really important that you show them kung, kung connecting flight ka man like me i showed them my san francisco to seattle they're gonna check that and then they're going to put the baggage in the right carousel so when i was done doing that i went to the terminal with only my backpack my belt bag and my carry-on luggage and then that's it now another scan so that I can go to the terminal. And from there, you can see naman that there are a lot are a lot of screens showing your connecting flight details. Kung saan terminal ka dapat pumunta. Have to double check. So ako double check talaga ako ng bonggang bongga kasi syempre hilo-hilo ka pa. You're tired and stuff. So ayun, when I already verified kung saan terminal ako pupunta, I didn't look back. I just walked and walked and walked and tried to find where the terminal is. It was kind of, it was quite a long walk, just so you know. So, don't squander time. Go where you should go. And then from there, nung nakita ko, oh, this is my terminal. Oh, wala pang tao. So ayun, medyo nag-change na ako into my winter clothes kasi sabi ng kapatid ko, malamig. <laughs> and then I got myself some coffee and then I freshened up a little and that's it. Arrival ko na sa Seattle. Yay! Thank you guys. Sana nasagot ko yung mga tanong ninyo. And kung magpapiyahin na rin kayo, um, congratulations, welcome to the US, or ingat sa biyahe. Um, I hope you don't find any hassle. Bye! Don't forget to subscribe to my channel.